Now, before I start, network's going to push Arch Manning. Now, he's going to be on prime time at 8 o'clock. They're hoping that he has a great game. I mean, there's so much you can talk about Deion Sanders. So now ESPN, they need somebody else to talk about. So Arch Manning comes from a football background. If he can ball out against ULM and ESPN, they can sell this whole Arch Manning, Quinn Ewers quarterback controversy and it, it brings more attention to Texas. Now we all know that Arch Manning is going to torch ULM. Texas just got a better football team. So ESPN needs something else to push. So they definitely going to push Arch Manning, Eli Manning, Peyton Manning. So look for ESPN to showcase Arch Manning from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock at night. So all they're going to talk about is the Mannings. Like I said, you can't keep talking about D.L. Sanders. You can't do that. That's getting old. It's college football Saturday day for me. I'm knocking out some early shopping, getting everything taken care of early. Jackson State plays Grambling and Grambling. It's going to be a hostile crowd, but the keys for Jackson State is stopping Miles Crawley. Now this year, so far, Miles Crawley Passed for like 600 yards, six touchdowns. He's been a force. So if they slow him down through the air, they got a good chance to win. Now, Jackson State's defensive backs, they got to step their game up. They got to step their game up. They step their game up, force uh, Grambling to run the ball. That's a benefit to Jackson State. Also, Jackson State got to be able to run the ball efficiently with J.D. Martin and uh, Mulligan. If they can control the trenches, run the ball, keep the ball out of Miles Crowley's hand, keep that offense off the field, Jackson State got a great chance to win the game. And they can't turn it over. They got to play smart, fundamental football. It's going to be a good game today. Hostile crowd, sold out. Sweat game, even though it's not a conference game. It's a sweat game. It's going to be a good football game. So I got Jackson State winning the game if they do the simple things. Don't turn it over. Use ball control offense. Keep Grandma's offense off the field by running that clock, running the ball efficiently, by utilizing their two quarterbacks, Cameron McCoy, Jacoby and uh, Morgan. They do all the things I'm talking about, they're going to win the football game. They are. Against good teams, you can't turn it over. You gotta play smart football. It should be a real good game though. Look, let me finish this shopping. Monitor you guys later.